I'm often asked how much of the produce we eat is grown here in our garden. Though it varies quite a bit through the year, my best guess is that we grow about 50 to 60 percent of the produce we eat. But to answer the question more accurately, I'm making four videos, one for each season, in which I track all of the produce we eat over the course of a week. And I compare what came from the store and what came from the garden. Today's video is the spring edition in this series, and it covers the produce we ate from June 3rd through the 9th. Let's start with some context. We currently have about 700 square feet of crops planted, but many of those crops won't produce harvest for a number of weeks. My wife and I are both vegetarians who eat a lot of produce, and we were the only two people to eat from the garden during the week under consideration. For the purpose of this video, I'll define produce as fruits, vegetables, nuts, and grains that are either fresh or have been canned, dehydrated, frozen, or preserved in some way that doesn't significantly change the nature of the produce. Now let's compare what we ate from the store versus what we ate from the garden over the course of seven days. We'll make the comparison by weight, calories, and the value of the produce. From June 3rd through June 9th, my wife and I ate more than 45 pounds of produce. More than 21 pounds came from the store and almost 24 pounds came from the garden. So by weight, about 52% of the produce we ate over the course of the week came from the garden. I expect that percentage to go way up in just a matter of weeks. Some of the produce we bought at the store we simply don't grow in our garden. For example, watermelon, mangoes, apples, bananas, and lemons. But we are growing other crops that we bought, like tomatoes, cucumbers, berries, onions, and garlic. And soon, when these crops are ready to harvest, the amount of produce harvested from our garden will increase dramatically. In the meantime, we're mostly harvesting cool weather crops like sugar snap peas, turnips, radishes, and huge quantities of greens like kale, collards, lettuce, and claytonia. Our total harvest for the week came to 23 pounds, 14 ounces. That's a couple pounds more than the 21 pounds, 13 ounces we bought from the store. Now let's make the comparison in terms of calories, which is an important measure if your goal is to provide as much sustenance as possible from your garden. I use MyFitnessPal.com to determine the caloric values of all the produce and use USDA numbers when they were available to be as accurate as possible. We bought mostly fruit from the store and the total calories came to 3,547. Though the crops from the garden weighed more, they were lower in calories for a total of only 2,902, which is 45% of the total 6,449 calories of produce that we ate over the course of the week. I expect that percentage to go way up this summer when we're harvesting zucchini, tomatoes, potatoes, peppers, and much more. Okay, for the final comparison, let's look at cost. The produce we ate from the store from June 3rd to June 9th cost $35.88. Most of it was organic, but some was conventional, and we bought most of it from Trader Joe's. Now let's look at what the garden produce we ate that week would cost if we had to buy it from the store. For the sake of consistency, I used Trader Joe's prices, but they didn't carry every item, so I had to improvise a bit. For example, Claytonia wasn't available at Trader Joe's or Whole Foods. If it were, it would likely be sold as a very expensive specialty item. However, because I use Claytonia as a spinach substitute, I considered its value to be equal to that of organic spinach. Likewise, neither store carried garlic scapes, so I assumed the value to be equal to that of organic garlic. When all totaled up, the garden produce came to a total value of $147.54, more than four times the $35.88 we spent at the grocery store. Part of the reason there's such a big difference is that we harvested a lot of greens, and organic greens are very expensive. Even so, I expect the value of our garden harvest to be even higher this summer when we're harvesting crops like tomatoes, peppers, eggplants, and zucchini. So with only 700 square feet planted, and much of that not producing harvest yet this early in the season, our garden provided 52% of the produce we ate over the course of a week by weight 45% in terms of calories, and it saved us $147 at the grocery store. I expect these numbers to increase significantly in a matter of weeks when we start harvesting summer crops. I'll be back in August for the summer edition of this series. At that time, the garden will be at its peak. My hope is that this series will give you a better idea of how much food you can grow in your garden using the methods I described in my videos. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for more videos on how to grow a lot of food on a little land without spending much or working harder than you have to. Hey, little buddy. What are you doing? Hey, little buddy. Good boy.
Gut sein. 